All right. Hey guys, I'm back here in my car again about to share a dream that I had a few, actually I had it on August 11th, 2022. And this dream is called Silence of the Lambs. If you guys watched my Hurricane Ian update, you guys know I've never seen the movie. So I have no idea what the movie's about. Although I know it's a scary movie. I think it's about a serial killer. I may be wrong. I don't really, I don't know. But before I do, I actually want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold Investments. Thank you for monetizing this video. I'm, you know, demonetized on YouTube for over two years, so I appreciate it. It definitely helps me be able to travel and minister, and it's just been, it's just, it just makes my life a little easier. So thank you, Noble Gold, and thank you, Jesus, for the sponsorship as well. So go check them out. Really great place, great website, um, gold, uh, silver, all real currency. You want to have real currency. So go check them out on noblegoldinvestments.com. Okay. There's my little sponsor of the day. Thank you, Noble Gold. So here, so I'm actually going to share a few different dreams I've had as well the past few months. It's all about infiltrators. It's all about men in black as well. So I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me. <coughs> I've had a really bad cold um, since I got back from Idaho and so ah I hope I don't call the entire time you guys I'm sorry <coughs> okay here we go silence of the lamps now it's in the in the oh my goodness it my voice is scratchy I might have to cut this and start when I'm normal two hours later okay I'm feeling a little better and had some water so hopefully I'll be okay now Thank you, Jesus. So um, the dream again is called Silence of the Lambs. I had this on August 11th and it's me and a group of people. Most of these people, I have no idea who they were, but they were a bunch of people that were with me and I can hear, do you hear that crow in the background? It's a little ominous and strange. Literally started crowing when I started talking about Silence of the Lambs. Anyway, the blood of Jesus. So, okay. So this dream again, I had, it's called Silence of the Lambs. I had this dream on August 11th and it is the dream I had a, the day before flying out to Rochester, New York for Clay Clark's event in Rochester. So it's me and a group of people in this dream. Most of these people I, I've never seen before. I've no idea who they are, but we were like a community of people, community of friends. I, you know, in my, in the dream, I felt they were patriots. So I found myself in a house and there were people pursuing us and trying to find their way into the house. And I knew that we were being stalked and hunt and hunted, stalked and hunted. I remember specifically women trying to get in and we discussed this and we didn't let them in. I remember feeling like this was a scene from a movie and when I woke up, I heard silence of the lambs. So in the dream, I literally felt like I was, I was like in a movie and when I woke up, I heard silence of the lambs, okay? So I remember even with all the chaos, there was peace in the house with the group of people that I was with. Praise the Lord for that. I strongly feel the stalking, hatred, murder spirit against us. Wow. And um, I had a vision this day also while praying with Pastor Ruth and Pastor Timothy. Yeah, I'm going to share a vision that I had as well. I, I wrote it down too. So, so this dream, I mean, that's basically it. I was in a house, a bunch of people. We were safe. We felt the peace of God. And all of a sudden there was like women trying to sneak in. There was other people trying to get in. We, we were being stalked and hunted. And, but where we were, where we were, it was, we were totally peaceful. So for some reason, you know, I heard so clear when I woke up, silence of the lambs. <clears throat> Again, I've never seen that movie before. Not my kind of taste. I don't, I don't watch horror movies. Even when I was, even when I wasn't saved, I never watched it, was not into it and um, never watched the movie. Does, does this scene, like does this dream seem, scene ring a bell with anyone? <laughs> you know, when you're in a house being hunted, I don't know, anyone watch the movie, please put it in the comment section. I will I read all your comments, so please um, do that. But what was interesting is when I heard that and I woke up and I was kind of coming to, I said, Lord, silence of the lambs. <clears throat> and then I felt my spirit, it, we're being hunted and we know this already. A lot of people are banned on Twitter. A lot of people are banned on YouTube. You guys know I have my second YouTube strike. So I'm hanging on by a string. This is my second channel. I might be getting a third channel, hopefully not in Jesus name, but you know, it's, they're definitely hunting us and praise God for the peace of God with us, protecting us at all times. But what I also found interesting, you know, in the, in the Bible, the lamb is the Lord, right? He's the lamb. Jesus Christ is the lamb. The, our Lord and Savior. And so I thought it was interesting how he was, I felt his love for his lambs. You know, we are his sheep. 
We are his children. And so he also sees us as his little lambs and he takes care of us and watches us and, and protects us. And so I just thought, wow, Lord, I never thought that we, you know, we're your lambs too. You know, we're his sheep. So it makes sense. And he's very well aware of the fact that the enemy is trying to silence his lambs. You know, trying to silence us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere, even, you know, in the media, people are getting canceled left and right. You know, what's her name? Sherrod Osborne. I think she's, uh, I don't know what show she was on, The View. Gosh, the talk, I don't really know, but she got canceled, I think, last year because she was covering, you know, Pierce Morgan and him talking about Meghan Markle and like the first, he has the First Amendment right, just to voice his opinion. And she stood up for him a year ago and she got banned. So there she goes. So again, silencing conservatives, Christians, patriots, and this was an interesting dream, but specifically, I had visions and, and I have had visions on, on this confirming it as well <clears throat> because. I'll share a vision that I had while praying with Pastor uh, Ruth and Pastor Timothy in, uh, where, you know, where they live in California. I stayed with them and I had this vision and I actually told this to Clay Clark and I said, Clay, I had a vision while I was praying. I saw the stage. I saw the chairs. And by the way, if you've never been to a Clay Clark event and there's, I think there's two more that's coming in Pennsylvania and Missouri. If you've never been, I highly recommend you guys go. It is so awesome. It's such an amazing, ma amazing Patriot event. So many amazing people you're going to meet amazing testimonies on stage information you won't find online because it's banned you know information you won't find on youtube because it's banned so it's an amazing group of people praise the lord ministers as well anyone that's coming there just for a political event you're going to get rocked by the holy ghost because half the people up there are pastors evangelists and you know people that share their testimony so make sure you go to an event before you can't get to it again it's i there's people traveling across the country Literally, I've seen them at every single event, like the past three events. I'm like, wow, you guys are here too? They're like, yeah, we love it. It's so awesome. This is the best thing. Also, the vendor boots are insane. They're so great. You have vendors with, I don't want to get banned on, on, on this stupid thing, but, um, <clears throat> you know, cancers and, and jabs, like anti antidotes for this stuff. So it's awesome. I highly recommend it. But anyway, uh, it's an amazing event and and if people that haven't went there, they talk trash about it. They think Clay makes a bunch of money. Actually, Clay puts a lot of money out of his own pocket to run these events, to gather patriots and, and educate us and, and also activate people into their commission, into what God has called them to do in their state, in their community. So anyway, um, I had this vision a few days before this dream. <clears throat> and in the vision, I saw the stage. I saw people sitting there and it was a close up. And I saw three guys sitting separately but I knew they were together three guys and they were wearing a black t-shirt and black pants and I thought huh lord what is this and I heard the lord say men in black okay so there's going to be three infiltrators from either you know the FBI or you know CIA so some they're coming in there and I told Clay and Clay actually told me in Rochester I said hey this vision and M Mama Ruth also had the same exact vision uh that night I had in the morning I didn't tell her and she had it at night confirmed exact same thing you know, we let Clay know. He goes, yeah, I, I've heard the same thing. Infiltrators, you know, thank you for that. It's a confirmation from the Lord. Um, but all is well. You know, we pray. We're not scared of them. You know, come on over to our event. Go check us out. We're a bunch of grannies and, and you know, just middle-aged people and, and um, you know, young people there too and who love this country, who love God and who speak the truth and who gather. And, you know, we pray for Joe Biden on that stage. You know, we pray for Joe Biden. We don't like crap on him although there's people that do you know we pray for him and so we bless him we bless everyone there we bless um those who curse us and persecute us and we pray they find jesus because by the grace of god we are not in their position you know i could still be liberal atheist god is so good he took me out of that by his grace i, I could totally be one of those that's blind on twitter right now coming against all of you guys but thank god i woke up <laughs> And I got reawakened myself and found the Lord. So I had another dream too about men in black. And in this dream, this was August 8th, called um, Two Government Agents. And there was uh, two agents following me, sitting at dinner with me. And I, I saw them right away. I told my friends, get them out of here. We ran away. They tried to run after us. And we were hiding in the cleft of these rocks. We were hiding behind the rock. 
Jesus. So praise God. And they couldn't find us. So <clears throat> it's been interesting because I'm pretty sure there was an undercover agent that came up to me in Idaho. <laughs> and uh, if you're watching, God bless you. I sniffed you out right away. You were very obvious. And in the dream, this person sat at my dinner table and wanted access to my sphere of influence. So uh, I knew that in the dream and I cut him off and in person this person actually literally asked me hey can you connect me with clay and and everyone and I said nope you're gonna have to find someone else it's not happening and I told clay warn him as well so um god is good clay is really amazing security and that's another thing too with the reawakening tours they have incredible security and also we have the holy ghost security which is numero uno and we're very safe with that thank you jesus but there's sheriffs there you know there's police there there's one time there was Antifa outside of the Oregon event <clears throat> and we, uh, Clay specifically brought them, I think, hot chocolate and pizza. So there was like two people, two Antifa members that came out there. It was cold. So Clay brought them some hot chocolate. So praise God for that. So anyway, there's just a bunch of dreams about infiltrators, about uh, conservatives, Christians being silenced. They know that there's a lot of information coming out, a lot of things happening behind the scenes. That's what the Lord has been saying. And so... They don't like that uh, we're very vocal and we don't stop. Amen. Like if they take me off on YouTube, I'll be back. I'll make a third channel, okay, by the grace of God. And so I will be back. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's basically the dream. Silence of the Lambs. Let me know your thoughts on that. And yeah, just I want to read your comments. What do you guys think about this dream? I had, again, one vision and three dreams with um, being silenced, men in black, and being followed <clears throat> and I wouldn't be surprised if every single speaker on Clay Clark stage that travels the country were all being followed by you know FBI CIA I wouldn't be surprised there's there, there's a target on each of our heads and um, I'm not scared of them not worried about them I haven't even shared this on my channel I've known this for months because um, I was praying and it was a, a confirmation from a, a prophetic friend of mine who said I see two agents on you and that was exactly the dream I had two agents on me which I just shared in the dream two agents in the dream they were both different and um but they were following me again sitting at my dinner table and she said don't worry about it but there's there's i see fbi and cia and i said okay well go ahead you're not gonna find anything you know i'm not, i got three cats and and a mom and um you know i live in tampa florida which i'm probably moving eventually in jesus name so uh yeah but you know how they like to set people up and they like to look for anything to destroy you and silence you i mean they're hunting for us that's what the dream is they're literally hunting stalking and hunting conservatives stalking and hunting christians there was a pastor out in gosh i don't know where it was but their fbi just raided his house he's actually a catholic uh pro active pro-life guy and he got raided by the FBI <clears throat> and is getting silenced. You know, it's unfortunate. This is a Catholic pastor who, you know, is a very active pro-life activist. So um, he's being targeted as well. So, I mean, all of us are being targeted right now, a lot of us secretly. And the Lord is just warning us. So Psalm 91 and all of us, Lord, in Jesus' name, everyone that's on the Clay Clark tour, Lord, as well, and Clay and President Trump and General Flynn and everyone and Eric Trump and all, all their families, Lord, in Jesus' name, plead the blood of Jesus. Psalm 91, no weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Okay, I'm going to go inside and go check on my kitties and my mama. So love you guys. Share this video with a friend who may have had some similar dreams or visions or Maybe this is a confirmation for some of you guys. So we all know this anyway. It's an obvious confirmation, but God is so good to warn us anyway and make us be aware of infiltrators. So, you know, thankfully, having worked undercover, I know some of their tactics because it's, I should make a video actually talking about some of the really easy ways to tell if someone is eliciting information out of you, if they're an infiltrator, how to tell. I'm going to make a video like that. Actually, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to do a video? I'm happy to walk you through some of the things I tell even when I meet senators and congressmen running for office for the first time or even running for office and they have, um, you know, their, their team already, their, their team, I, I train them and let them know what to look out for with infiltrators. It's, it's more interesting than you think it, it is. There's like some really good techniques. It's really hard to tell that you're going to have to pay attention to. So anyways, let me know if you want me to make that video. 
Love you guys. Bless you guys. Hope everyone's safe in Florida. God bless you. Bye.